All right, folks. <clears throat> we back in the lab, back in the studio. Captain's Log Podcast. I am your host, Robert Marbury. What's going on? Happy Sunday. Uh, this is going to be a good episode, man. We're going to be talking music today, man. I got my younger brother out here, uh, Laquan, a.k.a. local DMV artist, Black Ghost LG. Yeah, what's happening? Do. What up? What up? What's up, man? How you doing? Glad to, glad to be here, man. You nervous? Um, a little bit. <laughs> Probably because I like, because the work, the get off work and the whole step in the interview thing. I'm used to, I should be used to it because it's like I get off work and then jump on the show sometimes. But so. you an artist though. Yeah. But you, so you good? Yeah, I'm good. You're an artist. All right. So don't worry about none of that. All right. Before we do anything, man, I definitely want to uh, just say uh, rest in peace, man, to DMX, Earl Simmons, man, a pioneer to the rap game. Definitely. Uh, gave us so much music, man, so much energy. Yeah. DMX is a wild nigga, man, but I mean, yeah. I, you know what I mean? You... Man, DMX had hits and on top of hits. Yeah, so it was like me being little, hearing them hits, and then it's like me playing them right now. I was like, damn, I ain't understand none of that stuff. I've been cranking DMX probably for the last about two or three days straight, and I was just like, damn, bro, like, cause I saw on Facebook somebody was like, well, what's your favorite uh, DMX song? I was like, it's too many, bro. Yeah. Like he, yeah. like if you think about it, bro. Like you even go back to the, what is it, Flesh of My Flesh, the first one, right? Yeah. Whatever the name, I don't, I don't remember the names. Don't, don't kill me for that. But I think that was good. But like, get at me, dog. Came on, I'm like, God, I'm trying to figure bruh. out which one was that song when he kept saying that ain't. That, uh, at the that was they don't know. Yeah, I, that the, was them, that they joint, don't know. Joint with him and Cisco. Who we be? No, no, you talking about uh, what they really want? Yeah, that's that, the uh, yeah. What you bitches want for my dick? No, so many hits, so many hits. So um, tragic loss, man, to the music. Yeah, world man that, uh he he was getting more love than than uh prince what's his name from from overseas man but yeah. man so i just you know just want to put that out there man you know show show my homage to to my man dmx earl yeah, simmons man, rest, rest in a, peace rest in peace to that man that's a that's a legend anyway so you rap yeah what, do, what i mean do, we, do i call you a rap artist i call you a yeah. rapper do i call you an artist do i call you a lyricist what what do i call you call me you can just call me an artist okay i call you an artist okay yeah. cool cool that's that's good so tell me, man, how, how'd you get into it? Uh, damn. Give Listen. me, give me, give me the timeline. Okay, timeline. I'm gonna go all the way back in the '90s. I probably was like, I'm gonna say '90 around my sister. Probably around when my sister's about to be born '98. And thuggish, ruggish, and all that. I was riding around um, with my stepdad, and it was just like he was playing that joint. And I was in the front seat in the Corvette, and that's and I'm trying to figure out who was this lady singing on the joint off the whiz. I'm over here like mm -hmm. I'm liking, I'm realizing I don't even know I'm liking the sound of that, but I'm just liking what she doing. And he had played it back because he see me cranking, so it's like boom, I'm getting into the jam again. And how old was you? I was probably like six, seven. Six, seven years old. Yeah, it's always magic around them ages, man. man. I'm talking about everything just like a movie. So you just sitting there like. It's it's like the sounds the sound period from Thuggish Ruggers. She kept playing that song, and I'm talking about I came back. I'm still playing that song now. So it's like all the way up to now, how my music is. I paid attention to that that sound that she had and that flow that they had. Even though I feel like the Migos is doing what they was doing, but yeah, that flow I was stuck to it. I didn't know I liked sound though. I just knew I liked music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what part of the music. So you I mean liked. like sound, like far as like the beats? Yeah, or the like beats and the the voice. So it's like. Especially when it's a blend. Sometimes it could just be the beat. Sometimes the beat could be weak, but the artist probably just made the beat crank, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, I lot, like it's that. a lot of that going around, or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So you're seven years old. What's next? Oh, yeah. So it's like I'm seven, and it's like we went to a baseball game. Came from the baseball game. Played, uh, what he played? He played something. I think it was one of them, uh, the dude, uh, blanking on the bathroom door. What's his name? Uh, uh show, what's that? Uh, Shaggy? Yeah, is it Shaggy? No, 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 no. It's no, not Shaggy. It's, it's uh, not. I thought it was him. I know they kind of similar. You talking about a reggae joint? Yeah, be like butt naked, banging on the. Mm -mm. Oh, it might be Shaggy. Oh, okay. nah, I think it's Shaggy. Fool. I can't never get it though. That's how you know I'm still probably young. But yeah, he played that, and it was like I liked that he was like it's like his the, the sound of his voice was just different. Like, mm. I ain't care about the beat. I like how he was talking. I was like, damn. That's you know, some originality. You know, the Jamaicans get to going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They in their own lane, man. It was like, damn, but they just, he just raw with it. And I'm just young as shit listening to this. I'm like, I don't know what he talk about, though, but it sound good. And his voice. But I don't know that I'm liking his voice more than the yeah. beat. So it's like. So when you decided that you was going to jump out there? Honestly, high school. 
high school, I kept we kept leaving. After high school, if we ain't going to play basketball or football, we going to my man's house around the corner to go probably play some beats. And I'm sitting there, I just sit there and just let them rap. And then they'd be looking like, why you ain't rapping? So I'd just be like, all right, I'm going to do it. And then I'd do it, but i stop. And then they'd be like, why you stop? But I don't even think, I'm I'm just off my cat in the hat type thing flow at the time. So I'm mm-hmm. just like, oh, no, no, no. they just like, no, nah, keep going. Then I kept doing it. So after, after a while, we kept doing it. If we weren't playing basketball or football, we going to his house. And after a while, I didn't realize I still liked that because I was still into sports, basketball and football. So yeah. it was like, well, I didn't know that was a hobby I was going to jump into. So as it was like right at the high school, it was like, when I realized I ain't really want to do neither of those things for real, it was like, I went through some like ups and downs and then eventually kept winding up in the studio. I wound up to this guy, uh, ran into this guy, uh, my man Bussy, his brother, he was putting me on to studios, different studios. He was like, look, it's a contact. I'm going to give you this, do this and that. I'm like, all right. I kind of was lazy about it, but then I just, I just kind of wanted to jump out there and then like already have it in my head, but I didn't. So I really had to, that's when I realized the type of time it took and started writing. So you, you prefer to write or you just, you like, you want it, you just got to go in, you're spitting it off the dome or? Uh, I spit it off the dome if it's one of those type of beats that I feel like I got to jump on right then and there. But if it's something that is really like, I feel like I can make a classic cool type of hit or a rest of a hit period because I love music and I don't like making mess, I probably write it anyway. So it's like, I'm a writer. You, you, writer. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of this shit that's on the radio now, which we'll get into it. You, you can just tell there ain't really no effort going into it. But we'll, nah. we'll get to that. We'll get yeah. to that. Okay, cool. All right. So, you know what I mean? You started writing. You started to dabble. So, like, when did it really hit? Like, when, when, uh, when, was, your when, first, realized, when was your first show? Oh, yeah, okay. So before I even got to that first show, I had to realize it took money because I thought I was going to be able to just, I'm talking about, I'm walking to people, I'm looking at this, looking like it's easy. So I'm like, all right, cool. You just passing out mixtapes. I'm talking about, I'm pass, I ain't passing out mixtapes. I'm just, it's like, I was pass, I was just trying to show people that I could rap. I ain't, I had, it's SoundCloud came out at the time. So SoundCloud, I didn't have nowhere so to yeah, put my so music. Yeah, so mix, SoundCloud come out, mixtapes are obsolete. I'm talking about, I didn't even know where to put my music at. I was at a bus stop one day. Um, actually, I was going. I was on the bus stop, about to go see my uh, probation officer, and dude was just like, "Yeah, um, you should do like a rapper." I'm like, "What do a rapper look like?" Or whatever. He just like kind of threw me off. I thought he was kind of, you know, what I'm saying. Thought, thought he was hating. Yeah, I know, no, I thought he was maybe a little weird with that. So it was just like, "What do a rapper look like?" And he was just like, "Y'all, bro, you just like you rap. Well, I, you know, you got your music on something." I was like, "Nah, I'm trying to find something." And that's when I discovered SoundCloud. And when I found SoundCloud, I was able to put my music on there. And then from there, it was like, okay. I gotta get some money because it was like I was trying to figure out why these dudes getting attitude when certain people come in a studio session and I'm not realizing they got money on it's they time on for it. and you just walked in and they just die like looking at you like who is you and you just like distracting somebody that don't know you. It was a lot that came with it, but as far as the money part, I realized I had to go get a job. So <laughs> how how much does it cost to get a studio session nowadays? I mean, these days I you mean might can how, run into all right, some. so my thing is how hmm. much does it cost and what it, and what are you paying for? Uh, like time, like what are you getting for that? Okay, so it depends on your engineer. You got a good engineer, you can get, he mix it down. He, it's how fast, it's all about how fast your engineer is. Your fast engineer can you go in there, lay something down, your engineer, boom, boom, boom. He can probably, he probably mixed and mastered that part already. Mm-hmm. Or he probably just mixed it down to make sure your vocals sound good. Mm-hmm. It's quick, it's all about that. So you put in 40, say, so my engineer, I put in like sometimes 40, 80, 44 hours, 40 an hour now. $40 you, an I, hour. Yeah, so it's like, you put in two hours, you eighty dollars. Within them two hours, you might can drop two songs or three. Depends on how much you got, how much, how fast you work, and because he's gonna work with you, he's gonna be on beat with you. So it's like you got Damn, yours it, ready. It, now ready. to think about it, that's that you you can definitely run that up, especially yeah. if you you in there you drawing a blank or something or something not not kicking you. I keep doing it over. Yeah, I guess it can add up. Mm-hmm. And about how many hours? I don't know. A week. I think you was putting in the studio. I think I put in, I don't even know, I probably lost count, but I know, I know I'm in the thousands. Because I done put like a good thousands, probably down there, 3,000 hours at least. So you about 50, you about 40, 50 grand in. Almost. Because it's like, in a way it's like having all that work, and it's like, it's good that when you, when you run into people that keep talking about not dropping or anything, and then you got people telling you to drop or anything, and then you realize how good your stuff is, and you're like, all right, I'm going to drop it like this, because this song going to curry anyway. This song is good as this song, so I'm gonna drop this one later, and then you can mess around, drop an EP if you want to, because you're probably these days they only taking five tracks to drop an EP. Yeah, you know, it's really a love hate relationship for me with yeah. EPs, because I feel like with an EP, you really, really, you getting like the best. 
But then you're only getting three tracks. Though. Yeah. But like, I'll give you an example. The Drake joint. The Scary Hours joint. Yeah, the Scary Hours was two. One. What was it? Two tracks? That was three. three you ain't get the tracks. Lemon Pepper? All three of them shits was yeah, banging. I'm yeah. like, God, you can just go <laughs> give me three tracks, bro. But I mean, but that's just yeah. to let you know, like, because I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Before that shit, I was like, man, Drake gotta stop putting this watery shit out, dog. I'm like, I yeah, need to hear some Drake. When he put them out, I was like, my bad, my bad. I, yeah. I, 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 I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> uh, like shit. Okay. No, yeah. You see, I, that when I seen that three, that three BP, them three piece, I was just like, oh man, where's the rest of it? And then it's like, in a way, I feel like when we get the rest of it, we ain't gonna play it back to back like we played them three. No, no, no. It's not. But I mean, it's it's at this point, that's just that's just some promo. Yeah. To 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 get you to say, hey, I'm about to drop some shit. You know what yeah, I mean? I yeah. wish a couple of other uh, artists I listen to would go ahead and do that because I ain't heard yeah. from them in a minute. <laughs> All right. So so oh, tell yeah. me so tell me about your first show. Oh yeah. So who, who was you who was you headlining for? Or um, who, would, who was the headliner? Or was you the headliner? To be honest with you, this was I think my first show was actually like a hole in the wall type of joint, but it was like it was legit. It just wasn't the hole in the wall, hole in the wall type. Somewhere space. in the like, city. Yeah, um, can't remember the name of the club, but it's still there. Um, I had met up, to, ran into this lady named Shift, um, Fade the Green. Shout out to them. We was just like moving around the city, show a lot of clubs in the city. Been around with her. Uh, people might be familiar with her, but I ran into her. She asked me. She reached out to me. She actually heard me. Through my Instagram, mm-hmm. and I was I was at work, and this dude was telling me about him. It was Rez on radio. She had a Rez on radio show. This dude in my job came and told me about it. I seen her. She set my page, checked my page out, liked my music, met her with the next day. So that's how I wound up getting to the spot. Met her there at the spot, and it was probably like five people was on the show. Matter of fact, maybe even four. It wasn't a lot of people, but it was like a some. I think it was a some type of party or somebody's. It was somebody's event, but I was performing for somebody. Okay. So it was like they, them three went, and when I went, it was just like I'm, I got the stairs. Like oh shit, I ain't know anything's about to be good. I didn't know he's about How to. How many come people with. was it? It was probably like a good. 50, 50 people. So you come out to join, you play your song. You was nervous. Yeah, I was a little nervous. Like it was like. In a way, once I put the mic in my hand, it goes away for real. But it's like before I get the mic, it'd be like, all right, who is all these people? I don't know who's who. I can't mess up. I don't even know if they're going to play my song loud enough. I hope they do. Like cause sometimes they have it so low to your mic. You might be over your music. I didn't know how it was going to go. But when I got the mic in here, I ain't even care. I got the mic. They played the beat. I went off. And it was like my manager even was. She was coming. She was my manager at the time. Well, I'll take that back. She's still my manager. We just had you got your differences. But well, yeah. we don't need to get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still my manager though. But we um she liked it and it was like it was cool. Like it was it was it was A one after that. We started getting on shows. I started going to Myrtle Beach. Uh I just came from Miami. Um she wasn't able to make it at that one. But So she, she finding she finding the spots for you. Yeah, she basically So now like, so now you to a point now where you getting you getting some money yeah. for your performances. Yeah. How's that? It's more like a um profit is it profitable? I mean Yeah, it's like it's more like putting it in and getting it. You're like you putting it in, and you getting back. You okay, know what I'm okay. So, so, so you, so you making some good progress. At first, yeah. you just was performing. Yeah. I so, was. you ever been like performing and then like motherfuckers kind of like off some like boo or or people just kind of like getting up and walking away type deal or you ever dealt with any type of negative shit like that? Actually, no. I, um, I got on every time I got on stage. Everybody, everybody, rocking. everybody. everybody they, they weren't rocking. They was just. Sitting there, they was look. They just look at me, and nobody will walk away or nothing. Only time people probably be walking away if, if somebody that just performed was probably trash, and they probably don't even want to get the next person a chance. So I probably lose like three people. But other than that, when I get on stage, I crank whoever don't crank. One time, I did a Tony Red show, recipes of Tony Red. I did a Tony Red show, and it was for I was opening up for Troy Ave. Mm-hmm. Everybody, you can see all them heads while I was cranking this song. You just see this one head in the. In the yeah. <laughs> you just see this one head. I'm talking. About, I'm cranking. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. everybody else just looking at me. They just looking, and you just see this one head just smiling. He's just going with me, and I'm just like, I'm just looking at him. And I'm just cranking. But everybody in the whole crowd liked my music. It's just that he was the only one that was just like, this nigga cranking. I know y'all hear it, but y'all don't hear it. Like I'm hearing it, so it was like, I was love. That's what's up. It was love. So, so what? So how many, how many years we talking in the game now? What? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna go off my tapes for real. So I'm gonna say about three years. Three years, yeah. three years since you since you hit the ground running. So yeah. you feel like you feel like you should be a lot further along, or you feel like everything is kind of going um, according to plan. Sometimes I would feel like that, but every time I feel like that, something else would come up, something good would come out of it. 
and then let me know that I just need to just be patient and just let it fall in line. Absolutely, it is. It is so true. tell me about tell me about some struggles. What's what's oh, what's your, what's your what's your struggles that you deal with with this whole whole thing where you know I mean y'all I'm assuming your ultimate goal is to be big and famous. Yeah. Um, struggles. I'm gonna say the struggles of the, this was getting canceled. Probably canceled studio time. Probably thought. Um, I'm gonna say I thought I had a feature with somebody that kind of yeah. It's a lot of you're gonna get scammed. That's just coming with the game. Scamming, huh? Yeah, they trying to come to the artists and like, yeah, they know you trying to do this and that. But what's crazy is the person that tried to scam me was had a verification check. I'm like, well, damn. I didn't think that was a real scam until I realized this person didn't branch off how he thought he was. And that's when I see what they was doing. Because somebody, these people, these people heard my song through SoundCloud and contacted me. Mm. Like SoundCloud kind of more is a organic follow. You want you want organic, you want a real home following, put yourself on SoundCloud. Spotify and all that, they can do certain stuff for you, but they kind of want a lot of money for their playlist versus SoundCloud. Somebody could just hear you. Like point blank period. I thought about putting my shit on there too, to be honest. Yeah. Um, damn, what was I getting ready to say? Uh, but I was running on train thought. No, no, I was ready to say promotion, mm. like, cause you know, I you know, I follow DMV Hood News and all these other joints, mm. and I and I I be seeing, I see him put a lot of, you know, local artists, mm-hmm. um, you know, stuff on there, you know, little clips and all that. I'm assuming they're paying them. Yeah. So I'm just like, I mean, do you do you do stuff like that? Do you pay for promo um, or like like what do you, what are you doing to get your stuff out outside of just posting on your Instagram? Um, actually, yeah, that's one of the things we hit them up. Uh, and they follow been kind of going up more. I actually been following for since day one. So it's like he, had, he has, it's all about how he want to carry it. He can, you could hit him up and he could be like, yeah, I got twenty four posts. He'll post you for twenty over time. He might not want to keep taking that twenty. So and it's on your side to be like, well, look, I got fifty for this post. You know what I'm saying? Then he'd be like, all right, bet he post you immediately. It's all about time limits too. Like you say, might you want more? You want your post right then and there? He might charge you extra just to post it right then and there because somebody else probably was about to go right before you. It works out because I went to work one day and this dude came to me and was just awesome. Man, I didn't know you do music. And I was just like, for real? You heard? I was like, what you see? They was like, on Instagram. We were like, you all right? And I was like, appreciate it and all that. And that let me know what I was doing was working. So I'm like, yeah, shit, yeah, shit yeah. working. Man, you know, paying for promotion, dog, can be can be just as expensive yeah. as your studio yeah. time, man. Like, it all depends. Definitely. Like, if you have a, like, you know, the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like let's just say, say you're a sneakerhead or something. And, mm-hmm. you know, you, you don't have the, uh, sorry. You don't have the little advertisement joint recorder on your phone turned off. Mm-hmm. You say, "Oh yeah, I need me a fresh pair of Air Max or something." But then all of a sudden, everywhere you look on your phone is showing Air Max ads. Yeah, like people do that for you know yeah. artists and you know podcasters and shit like that, bro. That shit costs a lot of money. Yeah. I, I did, Dude. I did Facebook advertising, yeah. and I tried it, but it was just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was essentially like I was paying a dollar per person. You know what I mean? So I, I did that before. I think I did that before, and it only did it for a little while. Though. That shit. I mean, it it can be expensive. Like some people do, like twenty dollars a day. Yeah. Just imagine you do. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you do twenty dollars a day for it a works, month, though. your shit gonna blow up. Yeah, but that's yeah. still, you know, twenty <laughs> of, times. I would kind of expect some of the revenue after that. Like, I mean, exactly. That that's why I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still a little nigga out here. So yeah. it's like. Mm. <laughs> You know, I tried, but I mean, um, so you got you see you got your regular Instagram and you got a separate one or you just got one? Um, yeah, I just got one Instagram. I got my um a guy that's promote that promotes for the team. Uh he's currently working on the page so we can just have a ghost. Oh, team so you page. got a marketing team. You got your own marketing yeah. team? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 making moves. Yeah, I'm like I was trying to tell my man the other day, like, bro, I'm like, I'm I don't know if people think how dead serious I am, but I got a team. It's just that you don't see my team, you just see me. That's like that's how I was supposed to. <laughs> I mean, they they don't need to be posing with you. They're supposed to be right. doing their damn job. Right, right. No, no this. Right. So um, that's love. so who's your who's who's your influencers? Like, who is your who who's the person you listen to or listen to that just kind of makes you who you are? Damn. Damn, I, I kind of want him to get back how he used to be. But Lil Wayne was that person that I was listening to, and it was like Vintage I'm not Wayne. listening. Yeah, Vintage Wayne. That ain't the Wayne I'm listening to now. No disrespect, Wayne. I just like the old Wayne. I like the Wayne before they tried to do that messed up stuff with his music. Like, I feel like it kind of. What you mean? Like, it's like 
they was it's like before the Birdman thing. I wanted this. I wanted oh, Wayne. Oh, before he yeah. wasn't trying to pay him and shit. Yeah, and all that. I was like, man, don't let that make them slow you down. So you like, so you you like the you like the five hundred degrees. Yeah, I'm you like, like that Wayne. I'm like drought three all the way up to even when they was trying to make all a bunch of drought sixes and all that. So I was still cranking all those, the ones that sounded good to me. Bro, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, low key. I, I, I like the, I like the singing, singing. Yeah, I like the, the singing. T Wayne. I, 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 I like, I like the auto tune Wayne though. I never <laughs> like singing that. Wayne. That's what I'm saying. I like that. That's what I'm saying. Drought Six is when he was getting into that auto tune. When he Wayne. started doing auto tune and singing that shit. When he was doing the little California Love joint, yeah. his version. I was you like, me go download that. I again. said I Wayne. About that song. I said I'm, I'm with you on this, bro. I'm with you. I'm I with forgot you. about that song. I'm going download that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that, yeah. man. Okay, okay. So you got a good influence. So what's the ultimate? Ultimate goal. Ultimate goal right now. I mean, now. You, right now, you you still you still you still up and coming. Hmm. Um, well, are you still up and coming? Yeah, uh, yeah. I in mean, the, I, in I, this I, area, they I guess say, you always up and coming yeah, until you up. Yeah, right. So, I mean, what's the <laughs> ultimate goal, man? My ultimate goal basically is just get as much as people as I can to just click on any song they see of mine and just get a they get their own experience. Like it's to the point. I be to the point now. And no disrespect to them, but I be off my I be passing my cards out and be like, you look. I sound just as good as Dre. And they'd just be like, really? Like, when I went out in Miami, they were just like, yeah, woo, 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 woo. They were just like, oh, yeah. They were just like, they liked it, though. Even if they didn't feel like I was, they liked it. Every person every person I get in my cars who's saying that, saying that, mentioning Drake, they was just like, they when they played it, even if they didn't feel like they did, they played it and applauded me. Like, I got like almost 100 people to follow me when I passed out my cars in just Miami. From the, just from the Miami truck? Yes. Nice. And that was nice. in a weekend. So it was just like... That shit was just so deep. I had so much fun out there. That's what's it was up, fun, man. man. It was so love. my see my thing is this, man. Me, you know, me just as a listener, man. I worry about you know. I I got I got this uh, philosophy, hmm. and it says that too much money make you weird. Hmm. And I, I I I stick to it, especially music. Like I, <laughs> I look, I'm not I'm not gonna throw no names out there. Yeah. But a lot a lot of these niggas <laughs> out here that's getting this money, they weirdos, dog. Like yeah. you know, you're not worried that you know you blow up, you fucking around, and you know you on TMZ every other week because you out yeah, here wilding out. Yeah, like you know, what I'm annoying. saying, you not worried about like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they ain't trying to be like J Cole because they don't see J Cole. Yeah, J Cole ain't put no fucking music out either. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I look. I, <laughs> end of the day, listen. End of the day, bro. Yeah. I just, I just want the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a J Cole. That's one fan. of the person you waiting on. Yeah. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. I, I want the music, bro. And I, I ain't twisting nobody arm. I'm talking about these people who ain't really put shit out in like over a year, two years. Like, bro, yeah, you, yeah. you telling me you can't I'm go t- put I'm one? Like, I'm tired of playing the old. I ain't gonna no disrespect, but I am tired of playing the old code right now. Yeah. I'm like, I'm telling everybody else stuff, trying to figure out every time this code's on. Come on, I keep hitting the skip button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's let's move along. So, how old are you? Oh, I'm 29. All right, so I'm 30, 36, about to be 36 this year. This is this oh, is gonna be what, good. That's what's up. So who you listen to, or who I listen to, is totally different, right? Right. right. So first, I want to start with I'm I'm gonna pick a, a part of the country. Okay. We're gonna pick top three in that area, okay. and then we're gonna go back and forth about it. All right. So I'm gonna let you go first. All so right. I'm gonna say East Coast. G- g- give me give me give me three East Coast. They don't have to be the best. They just be who you like. Three people East Coast. I'm talking. New York and all that other shit. Okay. Uh, ASAP Rocky. Um, uh, who else? Kendrick Lamar. No, no, my bad. I'm crossing over. ASAP Rocky. Uh, damn, I chose all the way over when I said his name. Let me see. Who else? <laughs> can I say? Like, I don't want to say this person. You only got one. I mean, this is for you. It's not yeah, for everybody. Yeah, it's for yeah. who you right. like. Right. Um. Over time, what we just saw recent. Oh, period. Who? Period. Three, three New York rappers, three New York East Coast rappers. Uh, or two, or one. This only one you got. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you this other one. I'm trying to make sure this Nas, what? Nas, Nas. That's it. That's worth it. That's worth putting on that paper. Um, this your paper. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you when you leave. This your paper. Um, uh, yeah. Right now, hold up. I'm thinking about the people that's on my playlist too, though. So you want you want to you want to come back and finish yeah, that one? All right. So back. just give me two DMV. Two DMV. Like famous or not famous? It's whoever. Uh, shit. Uh, Jay Holiday. And damn, that's probably just about. We ain't got no rappers out here. Though. Jay Holiday. Music wise, 
rap, nigga. Oh man, but shit, I, I don't know. I don't think of, I can't think of no rappers for real that we got out here All other right. than. Who the fuck? All I, right. I, I only want to say Shaq Glizzy because I don't listen to this, man. I don't want to say somebody else just because they from here because I don't listen to it. All right. So let's go <laughs> South, Lord. This, this, yeah. this, you, 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 you I'm sorry, bro. All right. I, South. I do not listen to the DMV South like is that. from Texas to shit, North Carolina. Oh, shit. Uh, Rick Ross. Uh, who else? It's probably going to be more South, of course. Yeah. South killing right now. Slow Wayne. That's definitely the South. Gunner. Gunner okay. is Gunner is killing the South right now. I, okay. I played my song for somebody and they was like, man, them South niggas got it. I was they in my feelings, but do. I let them have it. I let her have it. That's it? Um, hold on. Uh, Uzi. Yeah, I like his Uzi is, Uzi is is from Philly. So you want to pick him as your, your East? Yeah, put him in my East. Yeah, I mean, I ain't meaning to skip that for him. I just All couldn't right. get past the New York for, for a minute. And, and West. Kendrick Lamar. That's it? Yeah. All right. So we're going to recap this. <laughs> <laughs> so we remember I put Jay Holiday because I don't remember Listen, these DC want, rappers. Listen, if, if, if you want to flow with Jay these, Holiday, that's up to you. I don't right, remember you know these I mean? DC rappers, right. man, that so made it for, out. For the East East Coast, you picked ASAP Rocky, mm-hmm. Nas, and Lil Uzi Vert. Mm-hmm. For the DMV, you love the smooth grooves of mm-hmm. Jay Holiday. Mm-hmm. For the South, you pick Rose, Lil Wayne, and Gunner. Mm-hmm. And for the West, you pick Kendrick. This list is all over the fucking place. <laughs> but it's like it's very unique. I'm telling you. You're all over the place. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do mine and then mm-hmm. we're gonna compare. So I'm going for DMV. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start there first. I'm gonna put Glizzy. Oh man. Cause if if I wanna get some home trap shit, I'm gonna get it from him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. That's funny. That this age thing definitely. Yeah, go ahead. And I'm gonna go with Logic. If, oh shit! If, if I, I forgot about if, Logic. If I want some some conscious boom bap, I'm gonna get it from him. I like That's Logic. It. I like Logic, but I can't. I can't bump him. All right. If I gotta go south, I'm going with Currency. Hmm. That's a good one. Favorite artist, undefeated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say. Old 21, 21 Savage, old 21, old 21. Savage Mode 21. Okay, yeah. I will go with Gunner. Gunner did have some hits. It's somebody I'm missing. For the West Coast, I'm just going Larry June. That's it. Say it again. Larry June. Look that up. He He's he's similar to Currency, but he's just from San Francisco. Okay. Larry and if I got to go East, damn, I'm going with Fab. Soul Tapes Fab. Fabulous. Okay, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, Fab guy hits. I'm definitely going with uh, it's two more. Who, who am I ever knew that? I'm going with I'm going with Buster. Buster rounds a good one. I just I'm he, going he with was, Buster. I mean, Buster was a hit or miss to I'm me. Going, I'm going with I'm going with like when Buster was swole, not when he was oh, skinny, right. and not when like when he was like huge. I'm oh, when he came the, out with the with the feature with Chris Brown and Wayne and all that Buster. Before that, I'm going oh, with before like, that Buster. Gonna make gonna make your body wet. I'm, oh, going, I'm going I'm going with that Buster. Oh, you know damn. what I'm saying? That's when he was in his prime. That's when okay. he was still flowing fast, but he put the finesse on. He him. was he was making real life. Well, not yeah, saying he yeah, never yeah, made yeah, no hits, yeah, but yeah, that was yeah. a real hit right there. Oh, oh, I got oh, I gotta go back to South. I gotta put Cole on there. Gotta put Cole. Oh yeah. Uh, but somebody I'm missing too. Um, it's one more one more New York cat. One more New York. French Montana. New York. Nah, I, I mean French would give me like one track. Oh shit, I gotta look at South. I gotta go with Migos. Vintage Migos though. Vintage Migos. Vintage Migos. I'm Vintage. talking like culture yes. Migos. Culture one. Yeah. I'm glad. That's good. Keep talking. My camera just cut off. Okay. Yeah. Um Vintage, yeah. I like the Vintage Migos. They had a lot of good flows and then you couldn't tell who was who. They was really that group. Oh yeah. no, no. I, I could tell who was who. I just knew I already knew who I like. I was <laughs> I was I was a takeoff fan in the beginning. Oh, yeah. When you put that album out, it was some shit. I was like, all right. Yeah. I thought I thought an offset's album was the best out of all three. Yes, definitely. Because was. Quavo, I already knew what I was gonna get from Quavo. Offset kind of showed me a side of him that I didn't that I didn't really know about. I was like, okay, my man out here like yeah. really got his own flow and swag. I think he the oldest too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He actually had some shit to talk about. Quavo mm-hmm. was just singing it. I don't know what the fuck Takeoff was doing. Mo, I was I was everybody was just like, yeah, Takeoff ain't gonna be that joint. And then when it came out, you was like, damn, you only got like two tracks. Okay. So this 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 is my uh 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 comment about rap right now. Mm-hmm. It's oversaturated. Yeah. Like, if you think about back in the day, you think about the DMX, the Jay-Z, the Biggie days, you didn't really have that many people to listen to. No. I think that's why they blew up the way they did. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, you, like you, like you had a couple of names, 
But mm-hmm. like now? Yeah. And the DMV, <coughs> that's kind of why we was on Go Go so hard. That made sense why I liked the Go Go is more than the music that they was bringing in a way. Because it's like you get, I play, I play the music out, then I'm going back to the Go Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, dog, like, I think it's something Diddy has said a long time. It's like saturated, bro. Like, yeah. it's so many new artists. Like, yeah. you know, all these Chicago niggas, these Midwest dudes. A lot they of said it was like that South. a long time ago, though, too, though. But I mean, like, they, 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 but now it's like the radio, they playing everybody's shit. Yeah, all the more really artists, is, you know really what I mean? Is, and I think my biggest issue with the, uh, with the DMV music is, it's like, for me personally, I still don't know what our sound is. I want to know what is our sound okay. outside of having a go go beat in the background. Okay, so they sound is basically, so you know that flow when you keep hearing them, you know why you keep hearing them rap the same? When you when people be saying that's, that's they see they don't know that they raps. they don't know that they sound the same though they don't know that you everybody s- sounds the same they, bro. and they, and and what they trying to do differently by changing it is trying to say a different type of line. No, when, let me tell you something. The, <laughs> o- the only person right now, as far as like the newer generation rappers, the only person that sounds different from everybody else was Pop Smoke. Yeah, all the rest of these niggas sound Damn, the same. Was crazy. That's true. That's Think about true. it. Pop Smoke created that little. Yeah, now everybody on that wave right now. Everybody too. get that little beat, and he come in and do his little deep evil voice shit. Yeah, that's and cool like way. everybody just sounds the same. Don't get me wrong. He hey, had to grow on me though. If it's lie. making you, no, he did too. It took me a while. If it's <laughs> if it's making you money, by all means. Yeah. But to me, bro, all that shit sound the same, dog. Yeah. I just be like, bro, like. And they really trying to ride that pop, pop smoke wave. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, and you know, I'm like, well, who's going to be the person that's going to sound different? But right now, it's like, you know, you got to get on yeah. the train. I mean, I will say the thing I like is a lot of people, a lot more people are working together. Hmm. It didn't used to be like that. It used to be like, nah, you you, you would never see West Coast with East Coast yeah, and shit like that. I heard that too. You would, you, you would never see a DC artist with a VA artist or something like that. It seemed like everybody working Definitely together. Wouldn't. But the shit is oversaturated. And I, I think I think really that's just making it, making it harder for you because mm-hmm. I don't consider you to rap like anybody <laughs> else that's yeah. here. Yeah, that's why like, the way you're they that be person trying. who has that different flow from the rest of these niggas. You know I appreciate what I'm that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like, yeah, and it's like in a way, it's like I feel like they try to do it like that. I'm not saying they as in like somebody just mysteriously told everybody to do it. You, like, I'm you, saying you, you can say they. It's okay. You yeah, I feel like that. well, yeah, I feel like they just did this and just like they see him like oh yeah, he trying he trying to do it and he sound better. Let's everybody you do it, you do it, you do it. You don't, you trash, you trash, you trash. But make a bunch of noise and they won't hear him. And it's kind of like that for real. I feel like, but only, but it's been coming down because now I got that. It's like when you once you get that plug, even though everybody don't know who that plug is, even when they get it. But once you get that plug and you plug it in a wall, and I'm talking about it light up, and yeah. you you in the explore page, they try to figure out. I'm talking about. I ain't no no disrespect to uh, Davy and them and them, but they made a little post was trying to figure out who are these people they see in the explore page. I'm talking about they was mad. It was more like a. I can't. It probably came off of some promotional use, but I feel like you still made you put that energy into that post. So you didn't like the fact that you seeing these unknown people you don't feel like you should see in the explore page. Why marketing? It. Niggas marketing. It. They, and I'm, I'm right there. I'm sitting right hitting the button, and now you see me, and now you mad at your friend or your your baby mother or your girl might like my song. You 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 a comedian? Why does that matter? You know what I'm saying? If people are getting in their feelings when they see us yeah, artists I and ones that smart. At the end of the day, man, all that shit is all that shit is just for is it, it's, it's just for it's just for social media. That's yeah. exactly what it's for. Yeah, and I'm getting media. through Sometimes, now. Sometimes, man, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't have nothing to talk about. They gotta find something. Yeah, and they, you know what I'm saying that too. And that's was like that's why I was so happy when I found my source. It just came to me because it was like just like how you how you felt. This person felt like they need people need to hear how good I am versus all these people trying to do it just to do it or show a band or put a promoter a gun in a video. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here actually passionate about the music and you can hear it in the music. So it's like now that I got the source, I'm shooting right through. I'm talking about Big Flock right here and I'm right here beside. Them. I'm talking about they trying to figure out why my video beside his. They're like, damn. Now it's, it's to the point now they got little. Uh, Wild pages now to come follow your page and spam try to spam your page. You gotta block the pages so they won't spam. Yeah, every page. time I make a post, it'd be like follow em- em- Emperor Records or yeah, something. Yeah, you gotta bullshit. watch off for them. I'll be, 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 be having to block that mm-hmm. shit, man. But that's that's hey, look, it don't matter. They can't it, stop it, it though. It's, it's, as long as your name is out there, it's, yeah. it's good talk. That's like, what's crazy. They can be like, damn, who this nigga here? Let me let me click on here. Even that one click, man, can, can take you to the top. It you does. My well, I was at my girl apartment one day and we was um she was going up to her apartment to get some. No, she no. She went to the car, came back off the elevator. She was like, "Babe, this dude came on the elevator. So I was something. Tell you, dude, I like his shit. 
I'm like, oh, damn, for real? She was like, she came in smiling. I'm thinking she about to tell me she found $100 on the ground or something. Because <laughs> I think we was trying to get some breads at that time. But yeah. I was just like, what? She was like, yeah, this is the dude, he, he live upstairs. He said he liked your music. I was like, for real? And I was just like, damn, that shit is working. So it's just, it just take me back to what you said, how you feel, and how these people just making noise. I'm I'm, a, I'm just rising right up with them. Hey, I mean, it's it's going to be hard, bro. I mean, trust me. Yeah. It, it, if it was as easy, everybody would be fucking yeah, rich, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I would just say- Gonna even say it in the song. I would say, yeah. just stick to your craft, man. Whatever your, your beliefs and all that, stick yeah. to that shit, man. And yeah. just keep good people around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep your girl close because she always gonna be your biggest supporter. I'll tell you that shit now. Yeah, yeah that's what's and, up. And um that's just real. keep knowing what you gotta do, dog. I definitely am. But, um, I, I'm too passionate about it to give up. Yeah. But we're gonna wrap this up, man. But so let, yeah. let the people know, man. Well, matter of fact, what's your plans for the future? What's 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 oh. what's the plan for twenty twenty one? What's the goal? Uh my goal this year is to drop these visuals for y'all. I'm talking about I'm not letting I make timeless music, and to me, I make timeless music. So whatever I feel like song crank, even though I came out, it's only been three years, I'm, my goal is to take those hits and put a video, put a visual to it, promote it. I'm trying to at least drop like at least 10, 15 more videos before a year out. And to the point, I'm just making as much as noise as everybody else feel like they making to the point you just can't ignore it. And by then, I got shows coming up, uh, Myrtle Beach and... It's a lot of other stuff we got coming up for the year. I just plan on just going heavy with my promotion. I'm talking about merch, more more promotion cards, hats. I got hats coming soon. I do got ghost hats coming. I got a merch dude if if you need a plug. But just let me oh know. yeah, we I'm a, I might I might get your plug anyway because my merch dude cool, but he kind of lazy sometimes. But he he just he got it. It's his business or whatever. So you get it. You got these people. Some of his people don't even come to work, so he be open to one overworking. So I understand it, but I still take your source. Too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Good. Good dude. But yeah, that's my goal. I'm just got my. I just want to push it even harder. Okay. So let the people know, man, where they can follow you. That whatever where where they can find your music, all that shit. Oh man, y'all can find my music. Oh, so the way my music is, I don't know how everybody is on iTunes, but if you if you're an iTunes person, just type in E L dash G, and you will see my face on the pop up. <coughs> I don't know how to say it even more simpler. I'll, don't put Black Ghosts because when it comes to those platforms, you have to put in E L G. They taking this L G as you can't my name. change that. Um, yeah, I can. It's just it's in the works. That's what's in the works right now. So okay. that's like that's the background of the stuff that's going on. But right now. For y'all to just get to it with no hesitation, E L dash G, everything else will pop up right there. And Spotify, um, you could put in the same thing, E L dash G. Uh, all my music pops up, s- s- title, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, anything that's new. Even when the new stores come out, this distribution, let me know, send it through. So anything you listen to music or off of YouTube, uh, Instagram is Black Ghost underscore the God with two D's at the end. Um, you could definitely see the numbers for the views on yourself and there. You, my uh, interview, I mean, not my interview, but my link for my videos is in my page, my bio, um, Twitter, 36TH Finest, F I N E S T. Um, what else, social media? My Facebook, I be on Facebook, but not as much. I just posted for old high school people. Facebook's and, some bullshit. Yeah, I don't, you know what I'm saying? You said the promotion thing, so I was just like, I don't really care for promotion with Facebook, though. I would, I would say do it on Insta, Instagram, yeah, or, that's or what or I YouTube, do. if anything. Yeah, or YouTube, SoundCloud. too. Yeah, a lot of people be on YouTube. So if you want YouTube, you could YouTube. You can't put LG or Black Ghost on. YouTube already made the gateway for us. So, okay. Yeah. Well, all, all of this will be um it'll it'll be in the uh um in the uh, comment section of the YouTube joint, so you can check oh, yeah. check my young brother out. Niggas yeah. didn't even know I had a younger brother. I got two younger brothers. Pops is out here wilding the fuck out. <laughs> But yeah. um, but we're gonna wrap it up, man. Um, thank you for coming on. You know what I'm saying? You you canceled on me the other day. I thought yeah, if I had to man. ring your fucking neck, I, man. I, I'm bad, but, um, man. But you but you did. Personal you issues. came through, man. We dropped some heat. Yeah. Um, Mahalo, y'all. Captain out. Yes. Signing out.